is now on the right hand side, but it's called out behind for Gaviria. Can he come around on the left hand side now? It's Fernando Gaviria. I'm not sure he'll take it though because it's Tudor who've taken a big boys race. And Tudor Pro Cycling from Switzerland have made their name in the oldest race in the world. One of the new areas of development for a new team like Tudor Pro Cycling is the creation of a sprint train. My name is uh, Arvid de Klein. The plan is to, to win races and sprints with me. We have some guys around who are like good in leadouts. We're going to try to, uh, to win races the coming, uh, coming two years. My name is uh, Sebastian Kotze Changizi. My strengths are, are mostly in, in, in the sprint and in the lead out. I'm Michael Zeilard. Yeah, I think I'm more of a lead out guy or a um, person to be quite well in small group finishes. The sprint group was supposed to race for the first time at the Tour of Antalya, but the cancellation of the race because of the earthquake forced a change of plan. We don't want to take the risk of letting our sprint train racing for the first time in UAE Tour with all the big sprinters of this, of this planet. So, in 24 hours we created this training camp, we are here for a bit more than a week, from here they leave straight to Milano, take the plane to UAE Tour and then we see. Building a sprint train is a process full of different adjustments and you need all the riders to work as one. Marcel Sieberg, a legendary lead-out man for the very best sprinters in the world, was there to help them with the task. I'm stoked to work with him uh, with, with, with the sprint train and those kind of things. We already discussed so much and he has so much knowledge about how to do it. Yeah. Training camp now has been, has been good. We progressed a lot with the, with the lead out train. But it's easy to make everything perfect in training. You have to push yourself uh, in the races and you go next to other teams. Right it's so hectic, I mean it goes fast, there's a lot going on, um, but in the end speed is king. Here, who's going to get their first? Oh, four up at least on the line! With a fourth place against much more experienced sprint trains, Arvid De Klein and Tudor Pro Cycling showed everyone that they were already in the game, but there would be much more to come. Then we'll see where we stand and we can evaluate what must go better and what did not really go to plan. So. There's never going to be a perfect lead out, I think, or maybe rarely, but yeah, we strive to be the best we can. Another kilometre ticks away. One team doing really well to stay up to the front is Tudor in those black jerseys, looking after Arvid de Klein. There's the final turn and it's uphill to the line now. You can see Tudor Buani is ready and almost having a go himself. Einhorn is down the right hand side, but it's called out behind for Gaviria. Can he come around on the left hand side now? It's Fernando Gaviria. I'm not sure he'll take it though because it's Tudor who've taken a big boys race. Incredible. Tudor Pro Cycling defeats some of the biggest sprint trains in the world. They said today they were racing for Arvid de Klein. That is a shock and one of the biggest we have seen this season. I was really happy for the team because um, everyone deserved to be part of that victory. It is Arvid de Klein who's won the race and Tudor Pro Cycling have pulled off a huge shot, Brian Smith. History day, special day, youngest team winning the oldest bike race. It's special. It's not about me winning, it's about the team who's winning. And that's, that's, uh, that's a big difference.